How to make concrete fountain molds Concrete fountains are popular additions to gardens, decks and patios. These fountains are produced by pouring specially prepared concrete into a series of molds, which are typically made from latex rubber, silicone or acrylonitrile butadiene styrene ABS. With some patience and the right materials, you can turn out your own fountains by making molds of fountains you particularly admire. Because the molds are reusable, you can make many fountains from a single mold. Things you'll need Fountain to copy Two-part brush on mold making polymer Rubber gloves Two large clean plastic containers Hobby knife Two brushes, spatulas or trowels Two-part mold shell compound Disassemble the fountain if it is built from multiple pieces. You'll need to make a mold for each piece. Clean and dry the fountain thoroughly. Mix equal quantities of the resin and catalyst of the mold making polymer in a clean plastic container. Mix enough to cover the entire surface you want to reproduce. Place the fountain face up on a level surface, if it's a one-sided design. If the fountain is sculpted on all sides, place it bottom down in a level area where you can conveniently reach all sides. Brush or trowel a one quarter inch thick layer of the mold making polymer over the sculpted side or sides of the fountain. Be sure to wear rubber gloves for this. Allow the polymer to cure for at least one hour. If the fountain is sculpted on all sides, carefully make a cut through the cured mold running down the center of the mold on opposing sides of the fountain. This will allow you to remove the mold without tearing it. Carefully peel the cured mold from the front or sides of the fountain. Mix equal quantities of both parts of the mold shell compound in a clean plastic container. Brush or trowel a thick layer the shell compound onto the back of the mold. Allow the shell to harden for at least 24 hours before using the mold. Tips Warnings Fountains are usually heavier than most other concrete molding projects. For this reason, use of a hardening shell is recommended, so that the weight of the concrete does not distort the mold during the casting process. If you've made a two-part mold, you'll need to reconnect the two halves with tape or wire before pouring the concrete into it. Be sure to make a note of where water pipes and other fixtures are placed in the fountain you're duplicating. You'll need to add these parts to the uncured concrete during the casting process. If you're copying a very large fountain, you may want to consider pressing fiberglass cloth into the wet shell compound and then covering it with another coat. This will make the mold much sturdier. The compounds used in the mold making process cause skin irritation. Always wear rubber gloves when dealing with these products. If you're making the mold from a heavy fountain, get help in moving or disassembling it. The concrete in fountains is usually not reinforced and will break easily if dropped. Check the setting time of both the molding and shell compounds before you start mixing. Mix no more than you're sure you can apply before the compound sets up.